Hey, hey. Happy New Year. I hope everybody's uh, doing good and getting a good start on 2023. I know uh, yesterday was the first, but uh, it was Sunday. I was playing the new God of War all day. Um, so I waited till today to make the video, but God of War is a great game. If, you, if you're looking for something to play and you got a PlayStation 5 or even PlayStation 4, God of War Ragnarok, Ragnarok is sick. It's a good game. It's, it, it got robbed for game of the year. I tell you what, it got robbed. Um, yeah, if you like games and you got PlayStation, you can get your Ragnarok. This game is awesome. Um, and I just wanted to talk about what i'm going to be doing this year um i don't, don't really want to call it a new year's resolution because i don't know i just don't like that i don't care for resolutions <laughs> um but before i do that i guess talk about the elephant in the room the beard is gone uh i do have to have some radiation done on a spot on my brain um, that I talked about on the last update, uh, and I, I just got, went back last week and we started getting everything set up for that. And there's a mask that I have to wear when they, when they strap me down to the table, uh, to do the radiation that one, it keeps my head from moving at all. So it, it keeps me completely still and it protects everything around the specific spot that they want to target with the radiation. But to do that, the mask has to be fitted tightly against my face, so the beard had to come off. <clears throat> but it's okay. It's uh, it's good to let the skin breathe under the beard sometimes, and uh, I can grow it back. I grow a beard really fast, like really, really fast. If I could get the hair on top of my head to grow as fast as the hair on my face, I'd be good. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> um, But it'll be back after I'm done with this treatment, and, uh, I think everything will go good, I've had, I had some other spots treated in the beginning, and, and everything went, went fine with them, so I have no reason to, to think otherwise, and that's one of the things going into this year that I'm going to do, that I'm going to work on, is the things that I have no control over, I can't dwell on them, I can't let them occupy so much of my time stressing out about it. I have no control over this. It's it's something that I got to have done. It's got to happen. And so I'm going to do it, but I can't let myself be stressed out about it and focusing on it and thinking about that all day. I, I need to be focusing on things that make me happy, things that put me in a good mood, things that keep me up. And um, one of those things that I'm gonna start that I'm getting back to this year is uh, I'm gonna start training again. Um, I really miss training. I love training. Uh, I was a trainer for ten years before COVID shut down all the gyms and everything here, and uh, I was eventually just basically forced into doing something else because all the gyms gyms were closed. Uh, everything was shut down and. I, yeah, I needed to get back to work, so I had to get into something else, but um, I want to get back to training. I want to start training again, and that's what I'm going to start doing, like, right now. I'm going to start uh, reaching out to some old clients that I had, see if anybody's interested in training again. I don't think I'm going to go back to a gym to train. I want to do, I'm going to do private training. Um, I, I spent a lot of years in the gyms, and if I can work it out and manage it to train privately instead of through a gym, I think that's what I want to do. I, I want to have, um, I want to be in control of everything that I'm doing. And when you're training through a gym, uh, sometimes they try to put, uh, they, they, they try to force you to train certain ways and, and do certain things their way. Um, but I don't, I don't like that. I'm, I'm a good trainer. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it for a very long time and I want to do it my way. I want to, I want to work with my clients my way. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get back into training, uh, 
maybe do some online training too if there's people if I, I can do meal plans things like that I know how to do all that stuff and structure workouts and everything for people that maybe aren't close enough to train with me in person but I, I know how to do all of those things I'm, I'm I'm good with those things so that may be another avenue that I that I look into um, as I start getting clients back but I really miss training I, I love training um, it's 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 what I enjoy doing it makes me happy I look forward to it uh, getting up early in the mornings to go train people is fine with me I I, I look forward to it I enjoy it and uh, yeah um, the biggest thing for me is getting back to the things that make me happy and doing things that make me happy and if it doesn't make me happy and it's possible for me to cut it out of my life and replace it with something that does that's where I'm going that's what I'm doing and uh, I think that's what everybody should try to do um, we, we let ourselves get caught up with things that don't make us happy and a lot of times it's just we think that we have to we think that there is no other option that we can't that we we can't get around it. It's just we have to do things that don't make us happy. And some things, yeah, some things you don't you, you can't get around, but other things you can. If you if you take some time and you you figure out a plan and you you look at what you don't enjoy and you look at what you do enjoy, you can figure out a way to 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 replace some of those things and and just bring some happiness and enjoyment into your life that you've been missing um and i think that's even if you're it's it, it, especially if you're if you're going through something serious that's that's putting a lot of stress or anxiety on you i think it is crucial vital to to put things into your life that make you happy and can bring you up out of the the hole of depression and anxiety because that hole is deep and it sucks um I've been there it sucks um I pulled myself out before I'll pull myself out again but it's hard but it's something that you got to do because living every day depressed or anxious is not it's, it's not a way to live that's not how you want to live um and even if you're not going through something uh heavy and uh um uh i guess real hard on you you can still put some enjoyment back in your life you don't have to be a drone going through the motions every day working for someone else doing a nine to five putting in your eight hour shifts and and making more money for somebody else than you're making for yourself. Um, and especially with the economy, the way that it is inflation being so high for a lot, for a lot of people, it's, it's making just enough money to, to pay to have the things that you're not really having time to use because you're spending all your time at work trying to pay for those things and you're barely getting by. Uh, and so it's just not a way to live. It's, it's not, it's not, it's no way to spend the time that you have. It's, it's, it's not. Um, and so I think it's important for everybody. And it's the thing that I'm focusing on going forward is finding the things that I dislike and the things that I don't enjoy. And if there is an alternative uh, of something that I want to do, something that I do enjoy, something that makes me happy. I'm, I'm going to do what I have to do to make that switch. Uh, um, and that's what I would recommend for everybody. Um, and there's no better time than now. There's no reason to wait. I mean, there's nothing to lose. <laughs> there's nothing to lose. If, if it doesn't work out, you just go back to what doesn't make you happy. I mean, whatever. At least you tried. At least you tried. Um, yeah, that's, that's my goal. My objective is to, to transition back into training, um, and get that going again. And, uh, yeah. What are, what are some of the things that you guys are, are doing going into the new year that, um, like I said, I don't like resolutions because I don't know. I think over time, 
resolutions have become kind of like a tacky thing that you say you're going to do and it lasts for a month or two and then you're done with it. And I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't like resolutions or calling it a resolution, but, uh, what are some changes that, that you guys are going to try to make? Um, they're going to put some more enjoyment into your life and, uh, make you happier. What are some goals that you guys have? Um, share them with me down in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to, um, uh, give a little update on what's been going on. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give an update on that. Let you guys know what I'm going to be doing going forward. And maybe I'll be making some videos, uh, uh, maybe, maybe doing some little workout videos. I don't know. I don't, I don't, particularly care for the workout videos, but I do have some home equipment. Maybe I'll do some reviews on some home gym equipment, um, that you guys might be interested in so that you can, uh, do some exercises and some workouts at home. Um, I have some good equipment. I can, uh, post some videos on that stuff, things that are r really inexpensive. I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of money on this stuff, but, um, things that are inexpensive, but very, versatile things that you can utilize and don't take up a lot of space and uh can be tucked away into a closet or something like that but I, I, I may do some videos on that stuff if you if you'd like to see some videos on that stuff let me know in the comments and uh I can get some stuff together for that um but yeah I just wanted to give an update on what's been going on with me where I'm at what I'm gonna be doing um and I look forward to seeing the comments that you guys leave down below and uh yeah, I hope everybody got a good start to 2023 and and just keep that momentum going. Make it a make it a we've had such such these past few years have just been trash. They've been trash years. Um and I think we can't sit around and wait for that stuff to change. We got to we got to make the changes ourselves. So I hope going forward this year is a positive and uplifting year for everybody and uh we can move past some of this trash and start taking back life and getting back to what makes us happy. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, talk to you guys in the comments, hopefully. And, uh, I'll try not to wait so long to put out another video. Um, but yeah, again, thanks for all your support and for following me and, all the positivity. Uh, I, I really do appreciate all the messages and the, the positive comments and things like that. Um, and thank you everybody for your support and, uh, just for, for, for being there for me. I, I really do appreciate it. And I, I just want you guys to know that I, I do appreciate it. And it, it really means a lot that, that I have so many people to support me and care and, uh, follow me to see what's been going on so I'll, I'll try to be better i'm gonna try to be better this year about posting more frequently that's another thing i'm gonna try to do um yeah i hope everybody got a good start and uh let's keep the momentum going find some things that make you happy and and try to structure this year around the things that make you happy and and uh put some enjoyment back into your life all right i'll talk to you guys later have a good year